Hey everyone, I'm so excited because I'm just about to go on vacation. As you can see, the plane is just about to arrive. It is going to be a three day, two night stay vacation. It is summertime here in Australia right now and we are going to be staying at a hotel which has a really amazing pool and a lovely beach right next to it. So it's going to be such a fun summertime holiday. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. Be sure to click on the subscribe button down below and the notification bell in the corner to be notified every time I upload a new video. This is so cool, so they're moving the tunnel forward towards the plane so it can be completely connected. The plane trip was lovely, we've just landed and we're just in the car on the way to the hotel. And here we have the hotel lobby, it's so beautiful, I love the Christmas tree featured in the middle. And here we have the other side of the lobby, so we have all checked in so it's time to head over to the hotel room. Here we have Lila's backpacks, bags, and suitcases all on the luggage trolley, so it's time to go ahead and unpack them. The first bag we'll be unpacking is her suitcase, so we have two different cupboard space for the actual clothes. Let's open it up. And there's definitely a lot of outfits. We have a really cute casual outfit. We have sweatpants, and then also this really cute tank top as well, so that can go there. And then also this really cute casual dress. I love this so much. Lila's wardrobe is very bright and colorful. So we have a lot of really bright orange and pink items. So we'll place that in there and we'll go ahead and close it. As to this top section, we're going to be adding a few items too. First off, we have this really cute fancy dress. This is if Lila's going out for dinner or to a fancy event. It's very glittery and I love the theme of it. So we're going to fold that up. We'll place that in the cupboard. We also have this really cute romper. So this is a really cute fun day outfit if she's going shopping or to the beach. So we'll fold that and then we'll place the pajamas on the bed so we won't worry about packing those. So we have a really cute pajama top and then some pajama pants as well. So we have a drink bottle. We're going to be adding that to the top here later on. So we'll just move it out of the way. But for this space, we're going to be adding what's inside of the bag. So we'll open it up. And we have a lot of swim accessories and swim items. So first off, we have these slides, which are perfect for the beach or the pool. We'll be adding those where the shoes are going later on. Then we also have some swim goggles that can go there. And we have two pairs of swimsuits. So we have this one, which is a really cute red set. And I love how they both match. So we have the top and then we also have the bottoms. So that can go there and then we also have this really cute set it has butterflies on it it's pink and i love how the bottom part is a skirt so it's a little two-piece set so we'll go ahead and add both of those just in there like that since there is some space over on the bottom shelf i might go ahead and just place the swim slides just over there with the goggles so first off we'll just be adding this water bottle to the set but we also have this backpack here that has a lot of accessories this will go over in the bathroom it's just toiletries like toothbrush toothpaste accessories like that really cute little uno card game so that's a really great activity there's also some books here as well so there's a baking book let's take a look and see what's inside there's different cookies and sweet treats and then also the secret garden which seems like a great read so we'll add both of those books over there. Then also in the bag, there's a hair scrunchie and hair ties. And there's also another hair tie. There's a really cute hairbrush. And then there's also some jewelry too. So we have two sets of bracelets. This bag is just kind of like a purse for Lila. So first off, there's a phone and then there's some sunglasses. So just some basic items. It's so cute because it's so small and miniature, but you can add a few basic items to it. And then let's just place the bag just over by the back corner here, just so it's out of the way. So over by the bed here, there's American Girl Hotel and Spa, and it's a guide showing different information about the hotel. So we'll just move that out of the way. We might place that over there. There's also a dressing gown here too. But we're going to place the pajamas. So we have the pants and then the shirt like that. And then the cute little slippers can just go by the side of the bed. We do have quite a few pairs of shoes for Lila. So first off, there's these casual sandals. They're such a cute purple color. So they can go over by the back there. They'll be really great for everyday wear. Same with these sandals as well. And since it's quite hot and sunny, we just have two sandals for her. And it's definitely summertime. So we'll add both of those there. Then also these fancy flats in case if she goes out to a fancy event or dinner. And they'll be perfect with that gorgeous pink dress that we packed away in the wardrobe. I'm also going to go ahead and place down the suitcase just over by the bottom shelf. The top shelf is going to be for bags. So first off, there's Lila's backpack. There's also this bag which had all of her swimwear and swim accessories. And then also this purse as well, which would go so great with that really cute romper that we packed away in the wardrobe earlier. 
And as you can see, the bathroom is right next door. So we're just going to be adding Lila's toiletry bag just over there. So as you can see, it has a few different essentials of hers and that should just be able to stay like so. Now that we've completely unpacked Lila's suitcase and backpacks and accessories, it's time for her to go out and explore for the day. So we are at the mall and we just arrived at Builder Bear Workshop. This Builder Bear Workshop is quite small. It used to be a lot larger, but I think they downsized it, but it still has the classic bears displayed over by the side and they have all the different stations set up. The green bucket hat featured on the Builder Bear here is so cute and I love how they have a koala Builder Bear featured over on the side and it's wearing an Australian t-shirt as well. They also have a few more Builder Bears featured over this side, including some Star Wars characters. These Christmas outfits and pajamas are so cute. I love how there's so many different options to choose from. And the perfect addition to the store is of course this Builder Bear displayed over at the front. I love how it's wearing the Builder Bear Workshop apron to match everyone at the store. This store is called Typo. It's a stationary store, but they have a lot of Harry Potter things right now. So there's notebooks about Quidditch, Ollivanders, Honey Jukes, and they also have one about the Wizarding World as well. They also have these noodle bowls too. I love how they're all themed to different Harry Potter themes. There are some pens inspired by wands over by the other side, some phone cases, and some candles too, and they smell amazing. And over by the back of the store, they have a really awesome Barbie section with some Barbie-inspired pillows and cups as well. We also, over by the side here, had some pencil cases and notebooks themed to Barbie too. There's also a few Simpsons items here as well, some cups. This is so cute. There's a planter inspired by Bart Simpson. My favorite item would definitely have to be the notebook with the Simpson clouds on the front. And this section of the store has some really cute Disney items. There is some Disney pencil cases, candles, and cups. I love the planter that's featured over on the side. The actual planter is shaped as Mickey Mouse, but there's a really awesome plant in the middle. They do also have a few miniature accessories and items here as well. My favorite mini item would definitely have to be the vending machine. There's a few different options to choose from. There's also an arcade game over by the side, but here's what the vending machine looks like up close. It was really great shopping, but I just ordered a drink at Starbucks, so I'm just waiting for it to be made right now. But there's a few different merch items over by the side themed to Australia. There is Brisbane and Gold Coast mugs over here, and over by the top they have a few different cups. A lot of them are themed to the holiday season and Christmas time too. I love how there's so many different options to choose from. The polar bear mug is so adorable, and then we also have some more Christmas themed ones over by the bottom here, and then we do have a Christmas tree displayed over by the side of the store as well. The Starbucks teddy bear for this year is so cute. It's wearing a little Christmas sweater, scarf, it's wearing a Santa hat, but it also has a little purse on the side featuring a Christmas tree. This is such a cute set, and it's so much fun. And over by the other side of the setup, along with Brisbane and Gold Coast, they have an Australia-inspired mug as well. As you can see, both the drinks have arrived, and it's quite a hot, sunny day today, so I'm so excited to try them. And as we are going out for dinner, we're just going to be having a little bit of a lighter lunch. This is a poke bowl here. There's tofu, carrots, there's edamame, and some rice on the bottom. Lila is back for the day, but there's still some time in the afternoon for her to go swimming at the pool before dinner tonight. So we have our swimsuit here. So we're going to open it up and I think we're going to go for this really cute pink swim set. So we'll go ahead and grab that. We'll also grab her sunglasses as well. So she'll bring those to the pool too. And then we also have the slides and her swim goggles as well. And as you can see, we have some pool accessories. We have a beach ball and a flamingo floaty to take to the pool. And as you can see, the pool looks really quiet, so I'm so excited to go swimming, and it looks like a very sunny day today as well. It's time for Lila to go out for dinner. So first off, she's going to be bringing this bag with her, and she'll be packing her phone. We'll place that in there like that, and we'll move that out of the way. She's also going to need her hairbrush as well to style her hair and to get ready, and she'll do that in the bathroom where there's a mirror. Then we also have the fancy outfit. We'll go ahead and choose this outfit for dinner. It's so pretty. And then of course we need the shoes as well. And for Lila's shoes, she's going to be wearing these gorgeous glittery silver flats to match the dress. We have just arrived to dinner. It's going to be a buffet dinner. And here's our table. I love how it's right next to the window. The view is so pretty. They have a make your own salad bar, which is really fun. And you can choose your different dressings for your salad. And of course, since it's a seafood buffet, they do have different seafood options, but they also have some meat and vegetables too. The stir fry noodles and the curry both look amazing here. And then here we have some cold pre-made salads and some sushi, which I'll definitely be grabbing. And they have some condiments and toppings for that. And a buffet would not be complete without a dessert station. So they have chocolate cake, waffles with different toppings and fruits and caramel sauce, and quite a few different ice cream options as well. 
And here we have a few more classic desserts. There's some Rocky Road and there's some tarts and cheesecake and they all look so delicious. The creme brulee looks amazing too. And over by the other side, they have a few more smaller desserts like slices and tarts. It is definitely quite late, so Lila's going to go to sleep now, but as you can see, we have her PJs displayed here like so. So good night, everyone. We'll see you in the morning. Good morning, everyone. It is the next day, so it's time for Lila to get ready. She has a very busy day today, so first off, we're going to be choosing her outfit. So we'll go ahead and choose this outfit here. It's such a cute summertime romper. I love the bow on the front. It's very fun and casual. She'll also be styling her hair in maybe a ponytail or pigtails. We'll go ahead and grab these scrunchies, and then she left her hairbrush in the bathroom, so we won't worry about that. Then we also have some really cute jewelry items she can wear with the romper. So of course we do need to get the shoes. So we have these really cute orange sandals. They're so gorgeous. And then we'll also be taking this purse as well. It'll match the romper perfectly so she can place her phone, sunglasses, and a few other items inside. We just arrived at the breakfast buffet. They have a pancake station and a waffle station and some ice cream and toppings for those. There's also some yogurt and cereal options here with some fruit and there's some croissants and classic pastries too. And there's also some bread rolls and toast over by the other side. Breakfast was amazing and there's so many different food options to choose from, but right next to the breakfast buffet, there's a games room with different classic arcade games to choose from. Here we have some of the games over by the side and you can win some prizes with some of them. There's some really cute, adorable plush toys. So we have this one here with some character plushes. Then we also have this machine too. You can't win a prize over by the next game, but I think you're meant to catch all of the crocodiles. It is a bit cloudy today, so instead of going straight to the pool, we're going to go to the movie theater and we're going to be watching Wonka. They have an amazing sweet treats candy section over by the front of the movie theater. So we have some licorice here, some raspberry twist. There's also some popcorn. There's quite a few different flavors to choose from. There's the classic original popcorn. There's also strawberries and cream. There's sweet and salty and there's even rainbow popcorn too. And there's really large popcorn buckets to choose from as well. There's also a few different ice cream options as well. Chalk Tops are really popular. It's ice cream on a cone, but it has chocolate on the outside. Mint chocolate chips are probably the most popular, but they also have original and caramel as well. I'm so excited because we're going to be going into gold class, and that's where the chairs go all the way back, and the chairs are a lot larger, and you can order hot food while the movie's playing. And here we have the gold class lounge, just where you sit while you wait for the movie to start. We have just arrived at the movie theater and the movie is just about to start. As you can see, the lights are still on and everyone's getting ready to sit down. We're about halfway through the movie and I just ordered some hot chocolate. The Wonka movie was so much fun. I love how it was a musical, but on the way out, they have these claw machines featuring some plushes inspired by the original Wonka movie. We have some Oompa Loompas and Wonka bars inside of the machine. This machine is a little bit larger than the other one, but they also have some more plushes inspired by the movie. And this one has a mix of different movies, including Trolls. And then there's also some smaller surprises inside of this machine. So we were just about to head out of the movies and we're going to go and grab some lunch. Lunch has arrived and as you can see, it's a Poke Bowl. It looks amazing and I can't wait to try it. And just before we head back to the hotel, I thought I'd take a look at some stores. These stores have some amazing Disney-inspired candles. They smell amazing. I love the detail on the front. The Marie one is so pretty. That one would have to be my favorite. They also have a really cool Toy Story one as well. There are so many different Monopolies here as well. There's Squishmallows, Elf. This is really awesome. It's inspired by Barbie. I've never seen a Barbie-themed Monopoly before. And then if we take a look at the back, they have the little pink figurines to choose from. And as you can see, it's a classic Monopoly board, but it's all themed to Barbie. And instead of turning houses into hotels in this Barbie Monopoly, you turn them into Barbie dream houses. We're just about to head back to the hotel, but we might go ahead and grab some dessert on the way back. They have a cinnamon here, and it's so cool because the bake shop shows how they make the different cinnamon rolls. And as you can see, they've added the filling, and they're just rolling the pastry. They need to cut it into different sections, so it looks like a cinnamon. And here's what it looks like completely rolled up. It's so small. So he's just cutting the edges off and then he's going to cut the cinnamon roll into different pieces so he's able to cut them up into smaller sections. And as you can see, they're all sorted and organized into smaller pieces. So all he needs to do is add them into the baking tray. And there are so many different flavors and options to choose from. As you can see, it's quite sunny outside now. So we might head to the pool once we get back to the hotel. We are back at the hotel now, but they have some holiday themed dessert items displayed over by the lobby. There's some really awesome gingerbread houses here. I love how there's candy bars featured throughout the house and they're decorated so amazing. I love the theme of them, perfect for the holiday season. 
They also have some gingerbread cookies over here, some cakes, and they also have some bars and slices too. And I love these little tarts as well with the stars on them. They look amazing. And it's really cool to see each gingerbread house because they're all styled so differently with different candy on each of them. Lila is going to go to the pool because there is some time before dinner. So we have some slides here and then also some goggles. And then she'll be wearing the other swimsuit that she packed earlier on. So we have the top here and then the bottoms. And she might go play Uno down by the pool. So we'll go ahead and take that as well. As you can see, the pool looks really quiet today. So it's the perfect time to go swimming. As it is getting quite late, we're just going to be having some dinner at this Italian restaurant. As you can see, pizza has just arrived and we have some prosciutto pizza and then also some rocket salad with some balsamic too. Dinner was delicious, but we're just taking a look at some Christmas lights now. So this one has quite a few different snowmen here with a really cute lamp post. This is an amazing Christmas display. There's some reindeers, there's a few different snowmen, and then we also have Santa on the roof too. And this final house shows a really fun gingerbread man on the front and it looks like a gingerbread house. Now it's time for her to get ready for bed, but there is still a bit of time before she goes to sleep, so maybe she'll go ahead and read this baking cookbook. Good morning, everyone. It is the next day, and unfortunately, it's checkout day. Lila's vacation has come to an end, but let's go ahead and pick out her outfit for today. So we have two different options. We have a really cute orange dress, but since it is a travel day, I think we might go for this outfit just a little bit more comfy and casual. Even though the shirt is very glittery, it's so cute. These sweatpants are so comfy. They're a gorgeous light pink color, and then we'll also style her hair in a really fun ponytail. We have this hair scrunchie that matches the outfit. And for her shoes for today, she's going to be wearing these slides. They're a really cute lilac purple color. As you can see, there's a bit of a platform to them. It makes the outfit really stylish, but I love these shoes with the outfit itself. Lila is back from breakfast and she went on a walk on the beach, but now it's time to pack all of her items away in her suitcase and her backpack. As you can see, Lila's bags are all packed. We have her suitcase and her bags on the luggage trolley, so it's time for her to leave the hotel. It was such a wonderful stay. It was so exciting to go relax by the pool, swim at the beach, and go shopping as well. So thank you so much for watching this video, and I really hope you enjoyed it.